All right, hey you guys, how's it going? I'm Tiffany and uh, this is day nine of eating for your type. I am so glad that you have joined me this evening. If you are a new viewer, please don't forget to like, subscribe, um, feel free to comment below, and I am glad that you're here. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm Tiffany and this is my take. <music> So we are at day nine of eating for your blood type and man, um, it is, if it's anything, um, if your experience has been anything like my experience, then you're definitely beginning to feeling ready to check off those boxes um, that it, and number and scale how you're feeling. Um, I've been talking about how my like sleep has been better, my energy has been better and all of those great things. I weighed myself today and still continue a weight loss. I was 178 today. Like I said, my purpose is not, I'm not really focused on the scale um, because my goal is to be heart healthy even, and being heart healthy for me means that the doctor is required that I lose weight. That's why I'm just being so upfront and honest about everything that we're going through but what did day nine look like for me can you say hot mess um because <laughs> it was a hot mess because i had been working on uploading videos and trying to get caught up with editing so if you are like me in any kind of way sometimes you get so engulfed and get so busy that you forget to eat so what did my day look like today is saturday so usually my kids help out with breakfast so today i ate three pieces of bacon and i had a cup of coffee not my usual two cups of coffee with the carnation good start because on saturday i kind of really cut back with uh with that and allow myself to sit down with my family usually and eat but today i still missed out with people eating because i was like i said editing so um but i ate three pieces of bacon like i said and i had my cup of coffee and i did have a muffin but y'all i thought i saw that they said that we can have a muffin but i don't think i was supposed to eat the muffin so we shall see i am i've stated it well i will say that in these 10 days it's been a gradual progress i didn't do the die hard in the book there's like this just die hard like things that you should be eating and definitely focus on just the things that are beneficial in a diet well it's kind of do that hard to do that especially during these times so I kind of had to work with it and I really wanted to be a lifestyle change so I wanted to make sure that as I was choosing certain foods and trying to make sure that I was really truly eating for my blood type that I was making realistic decisions I am supposed to I just lost my train of thought so we just wanted to rewind. okay the next thing because I don't want I want to make sure you guys know I can end up rambling so let's go to what I had for lunch so lunch like I said because I was so busy getting caught up in editing, I, which, huh, make sure that you like and subscribe uh, as I do this, I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> so when I did eat lunch, it was almost close to dinner time. It was like around two, which is usually my snack time. So, um, and I still really wasn't all that hungry. So I had a chocolate rice cake and a, a half a cup of hummus and two, two celery stalks and they're about medium size and a half of a green pepper. That was my lunch. And then for dinner, I had six spicy hot wings from Pizza Hut because we had company over and they had pizza and it smelled lovely but I did not touch it and I had my kabucha and then later on I had a watermelon a slice of watermelon for dessert and that was what I ate 
and I know that you all are like hold up she still ain't make it no I didn't make it as far as meeting the amount of calories that I'm supposed to eat for the day recommended by my doctor which is 1300 I promise you guys I am not doing this on purpose I'm not forgetting to eat or I'm not making the calorie count I really have to just adjust my eating habits to do a better job of it so I want to make sure that I make this clear I cannot necessarily account my weight loss to eating right for my blood type or for the fact that I have not fully made the calorie count so I've most days in this 10 days I've eaten maybe 1100 calories yesterday was the closest that I came to getting to the 1300 calories and that was about 1200 and 40 something calories that I had ate so that yesterday was the closest that I came so it has not been easy to do that but I will say what has been easy to do because I made my mind up to do it is following the plan. I mean, don't look at me like that. When I say follow the plan, I mean doing my best to eat right for my blood type, okay? I, I know you look at me like, she ain't follow the plan. Okay, I know I didn't completely follow the plan. But I can honestly say throughout this process that I have been at least 80 to 85 percent like sticking to this and I'm pretty sure you can agree with me because I've been sharing with you for you have at least since day six what I've been eating and we've been talking about it so what I will say is that as I come down to the end of this I am very excited to celebrate tomorrow with being on day 10 and really getting this journey like doing it for real for real one of the things that I do want to talk about that I haven't talked about is supplements dr. Peter talks about taking supplements that are beneficial to your blood type and I am going to put in my description today a few of the the websites that he has in the book so that you can kind of get an idea because I cannot say it enough even though some of the foods that I talk about on here that are okay for people of O blood type because that's my blood type it's important to understand that each individual is different this is truly a personal lies diet plan and I say that because it is for your lifestyle change it's not one of those things that you're eating foods that you don't necessarily like because there are several different foods to choose from and if you're watching this on day nine and it is your day nine or you're watching it to be encouraged for your day nine let me tell you something if you have made it this far then you are doing it and you will do it and you are in touch with the purpose and you're you're really in tune with your why and there's no doubt that you will be successful now I have to say I just anybody asks me like what are you doing you're doing so well you look good do, 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 do. I, I find myself being like have you heard about e right for your blood type have you heard about e right for your type have you heard about e right for your type I sound like a broken record and I probably get on people's nerves but you know I'm a firm believer if I can go around and if I can share when someone has given me bad service or when something is not right and I can complain about something don't I know I'm not the only one that complain don't don't look at me like that and when you don't like something you're unhappy about something you and I both can just really truly let the world know so I figure if there is something that is good that is life-changing that can make a healthier you and me why not share it so I just want you to know that if you're on day nine like me and you are gun ho and you have been sharing it and you've been getting on everybody's nerves you are not by yourself and so with that I want you to put in the comments if you are where I mean even if you're not on day nine but you're watching it anyway and you have been 
just ranting and raving about it and and just sharing it with all your friends please put in the comments a funny story or um what's something that excites you about eating right for your blood type or what is your go-to you know what i'm saying like to share your testimony about uh eat right for your for your type because i know for me it's the way that i feel you know i'm like oh my gosh i didn't think i could feel this good and yet here i am you want to feel this way too you know it's the same way i look at it as the same way like about my salvation you know and i get i get excited when someone wants to talk about jesus and about god and you know and i'm like yes please let's talk let's chat let's share you want to know about my jesus you want to come hang out with me you want to visit my church and that's how i am with this book and i'm pretty sure i'm getting on people's nerves and i'm probably starting to get on yours <laughs> so with that being said please like subscribe comment below i would love to know how you're doing and what's going on keep in contact i am tiffany you got this i've got this we've got this and i will see you tomorrow